that you would be in our midst. You promised to be in our midst, God. We know that where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty and there is freedom. And so, Lord, we ask this evening that even in the midst of this service, God, that you would be here and that you would minister to your people in a fresh way and in a new way, God.
Governments were never called to do that. Governments have specific roles within nation. They were not called to change the DNA of the nation. The truth is this, that there is so great a need for change in the earth, it cries out at us. If you just look at stuff, you begin to see the economic situations, and that affects all the countries, including Barbados. You can see the moral slash immoral conditions that I was, I was saying to my dear friend here. Uh, we came to St. Thomas and then on the Barbados from tomorrow we went on to Trinidad. And I was really aghast at some of the t-shirts people wear. What's written on them? The vulgarity in big bold letters. It probably will make Sodom and Gomorrah look like good people. Queens, others of flawless finish land. I'm on my way to a client and I'm in a predicament. You see, my client don't know how to take, she knows how to give, which is a problem of mine as well. And as I mentioned a couple days ago, today's her birthday, by the way, I want to give her this makeup complimentary but the last time I did her makeup she gave me money not the full payment for today's makeup but money that can go towards that so I concluded this morning because I was trying to figure out what to do with this I concluded this morning what I will do because she's gonna look to give me money again again today she'll be like Astra how much money I got for you that's her accent and I said, you know what? What I will do is um, take nothing. Take nothing from her. And fight. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is going to be a fight. You know what? I'm going to defer telling her how much it is until they finish back up. That sounds good. And then, oh, I got... Anyway. I got, I'm going to defer um, responding to her until they finish pack up and then when I pack up I'm gonna tell her I'm gone <laughs> Lord please let it be in the name of Jesus hear my prayer um, because she's more than deserving of this of this day listen this this is one of my long time clients like long and sorry if you could hear the started in the back um, I have a song on pause long time clients and when I tell you we talk about something she's like more than a client to me that's the best I can explain it um, you know I've been there through some of everything with her and us as beauticians no matter what it is to do if you're a barber if you're a nail tech you know a hairdresser um, beauticians we are also <laughs> counselors we have to listen and advise you know and I've been through a lot with her not saying you know um, I've been going these places with her but emotionally and you know I've <sighs> anyways going saying all that to say she's more than deserving of it and I've been trying to do this for since last year but last year because of another issue um, a very heavy weighty issue you know she didn't do anything for her birthday so I wasn't able to do this for her so this year she's doing something for her birthday and I want to give this to her yes King please let it be so I will report to you guys and let y'all know how it comes off enjoy your birthday yes please About me. They're trying to rush out to you. Try to put like, cap on my shoes fast enough. See what now? Guys, I get me. Hmm. Alright. 
this man. <laughs> this making sure she ain't come over. So you behind me. All right, cool. Now we are off to go and buy our tickets. <sighs> I tried on my dress today, and oh, stunning! I can't wait to do a get ready with me for you guys. I'm talking about from Mother's Day. Excited. Continuing our study of Revelation chapter 1, let's go from verse number 16. Now, in his right hand, he held seven stars, and out of his mouth came a sharp double-edged sword. His face was like the sun shining in all its brilliance. Now, it says in the footnote that the sword in Jesus' mouth symbolizes the power and the force of his message. His words of judgment are as sharp as swords. Let's move on to verse 17. Now, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. Then he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead and behold, I am alive far ever and ever and i hold the keys of death and hades the footnote says that as the roman government stepped up its persecution of christians john must have wondered if the church could survive and stand against the opposition but jesus appeared in glory and splendor reassuring john that he and his fellow believers had access to God's strength to face these trials. If you are facing difficult problems, remember that the power available to John and the early church is also available to you. Our sins have convicted and sentenced us, but Jesus holds the keys of death and Hades. He alone can free us from eternal bondage to Satan. He alone has the power and authority to set us free from sin's control. Believers don't have to fear Hades or death because Christ holds the keys to both. All we must do is turn from sin and turn to him in faith. When we attempt to control our lives and disregard God, we set a course that leads directly to hell. But when we place our lives in Christ's hands, he restores us now and resurrects us later to an eternal, peaceful relationship with him. Let's move on to verse 19. Christ says, whenever you see a writing in red, by the way, this is the word uh, from Christ himself, yeah? And black is all others, but red, words from Christ himself. Uh, mine is just highlighted or colored with purple crayon. My apologies if that's confusing. Now he says, he, God, um, him, Christ Almighty says, write and therefore what you have seen what is now and what will take place later the mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand and of the seven golden lampstands is this the seven stars are the angels are messengers see that little a yes of the seven churches and the seven lampstands are the seven churches who are the angels of the seven churches? Some say that they are the angels designated to guard the churches. Others say that they are elders or pastors of the local churches. Because the seven letters, letters in chapters 2 and 3 contain reprimands, it is doubtful that these angels are heavenly messengers. If these are earthly leaders or messengers, they are accountable to God for the churches they represent. It's Friday. Good morning, Lannis Kings and Queens. I 
think I don't know but I'm I'm done I've reached my goals I'm going to have to show you somehow but I've reached my goals um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna show you but I'm definitely gonna tell you I could probably push back the camera and um, show you guys but I've definitely hit my goals I've lost the trimmings that I wanted to lose of fat um, I could definitely go ahead and tone up a lot easier in my opinion um, I don't want my arms to be too big it's just going to be you know a little tone but not super defined my stomach is on the flat flat yeah you know, I'm going to show you I'm going to push my camera and show you and um, I've not flushed out since Wednesday and today's Friday so I'm wondering if my body has to find back a rhythm or something um, for it to like you know, flush back flush the way at least once um, but if not I may start taking the tea from today because it's, it's due in my opinion it's due um, my body is not one that flushes daily um, I know people who flush daily I know people that flush once a day sometimes twice a day sometimes once every two days i am like once every three days twice a week the most and i don't think that, that is conducive i don't think it's healthy um for me yes that may be how the body my body is but i don't prefer it i find it makes me feel bloated and very uncomfortable it makes my stomach look huge much bigger than it's supposed to be um, but I found out that my body needs to be flushed. It needs assistance to be flushed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take that tea at three from today so that I can flush out because today's Friday. That's three days without flushing. Um, I'm not comfortable with that. But I just finished uh, Pure Cardio, Insanity Pure Cardio. It was good, challenging once again. Um, today's my last day of that. And I'm going to switch up my routine. So my two weeks is up with this new diet change. And I'm going to tell you that it's not something that is sustainable. It's not something that I will tell you or do for like three months. No, your body needs certain nutrients. Yeah, especially if you're not taking vitamins and stuff like that. And the diet that I was on is the Atkins diet. Green, every vegetable that is green you can have every meat no matter how it's done i advise you to have but the less sauces on it the obviously the better um every green thing that you can use to make a salad use all proteins if you want to eat bacon if you want to eat sausage if you want to use cheese um whatever protein alternative you want you can use um i did not use any protein shakes or anything like that i'm counting carbs not counting calories um what else i think that was all to snack on you can have cold cuts like ham slices whatever pepperoni whatever is protein um you can snack on nuts you can snack on seeds uh, to drink so that's all that's all i ate for two weeks i found so i obviously incorporate your eggs in there i used milk um as well those that, that i didn't have any carbs i checked before and um stay away from any dressings if you want to use meal you can use meal um but you know measure everything remember you're counting carbs counting carbs and i believe in the first two weeks you're supposed to have less than a certain amount of carbs i don't remember how much it is but i'll put it on the screen for you guys and then um to drink you're drinking water constantly you're drinking you can drink soda water as well if you want um, those are the only two waters that were advised. Um, I was flushing as well. As you guys already know, I was flushing during this time. And I was working out still. Um, I mostly did weight training with 30 minutes of walking. Which is 30 minutes of cardio. And that is for three days. And on the fourth day, I did pure cardio. That's for two weeks. And I did not I don't weigh myself. But I know for a fact from my past. And... From others who've done this with me you can lose up to 10 to 11 pounds in a week yeah that may be water weight and then after that you can lose about five more pounds after that um so, so after those two weeks you then start to introduce fruit into your diet um 
for about a week. And then after that, you can start to introduce carbs back into your diet. So the purpose of doing this is to allow the body to burn, to go into um, ketosis, or yeah, ketogenesis, one of those words, where the body will use the is, is stored fat to burn fuel. Because if you keep putting in carbs while you're working out, your body's going to eat up those carbs first before it goes to the one that your body has already stored, aka your fat. So that's what I did um, let me show you my results this is me from the front arms all thinned out in my opinion um, this is snatched as we want it we turn to the side we are on the flat flat I'm going to push out now so you can see how much we've lost Step back a bit. There you go. How much we've lost. We are on a flat flat. Um, I'm going to flush out so that this can come down a bit more. And I know that this is going to come down a bit. This is what the flat looks like. The other side. And back to the front. So, yeah, guys, if you truly want to lose okay if you are slender or you know i guess my size and or says it was and you guys find that you have this excess weight that just won't come off please try the atkins diet um if you begin to get dizzy because the body will transition into using your body fat if you bring this down for this i'm sorry um if you begin to get a little dizzy go ahead and um just get something sweet like a mint just suck on that for a minute and don't don't use all of it though suck on that for a minute and then put it away if you guys um, want to use sugar i was also using a sweetener i was not using um white sugar brown sugar i was using splendor and that really helped my sweet tooth like i didn't feel as if i missed anything like i feel as if i could be should be using this going forward um so yeah that is how my two weeks went down you guys i didn't show you the before um photos but i will definitely try to show you some before and after so you guys well you guys if you've been following me you already know how this body has been looking um before so <sighs> catch you guys in a few so this is what the tea bag looks like if you guys saw the grocery haul you guys would have um, seen this already. Trying this with one hand. This is what the inside looks like. Right. And the direction I see is to steep one tea bag over two cups of water. So I'm putting this in a measuring cup. It was by Mr. Cut. Okay, this is what the whole bag looks like. Let me cut it. Cut. And these are what the bags look like. Take out one. So drop it inside of my measuring cup. Let's pour some hot water over this. This is to two cups. Boiling water, so two cups it are. Voila! All right, and it says to cover and steep, so that is what I'm going to do. They say don't know God is on the job, gathering up this squad, doing something so holy. It says to steep for two to three minutes and drink one cup after every meal. Uh, maximum is three cups per day. So, this is much darker. I kind of accidentally burst the tea bag. So, I have like little bits of um, a tea bag in here. But as you can see, it's still steaming, still hot. It, has, it says you can drink it either hot or cold. Um, so, this is where we're at. We're going to bring this down to one cup, pouring it, pouring a cup in here. Um, I'll do a little bit at a time. Let's see if that's a cup. 
that's half of a cup okay like literally two well let's see if that's a cup there well that's not measurement <laughs> so we have a cup so i guess my far don't necessarily need to measure this this is what a cup of that tea will look like i had it covered with some foil because i don't have anything that is in this shape to um, keep it covered and keep it steeped so i'm going to consume this um, because i just finished breakfast so i'm gonna consume this and then um have the remainder of this uh probably around um my snack time it says it's supposed to take three times a day so i'm gonna do two since i only have a cup remaining i'm not gonna make another um cup and i'm gonna do these two these two cups for today so let's try this let me tell you how it tastes this is dark dark like this is steeped i'll get it back in my head i think i'm, I'm gonna have to do my hair today i'm not sure oh let's see how this goes i'll tell you what it tastes Oh, <laughs> it don't taste bad. It tastes like tea without sugar, like tea bag without sugar. It doesn't taste bitter, overly sweet, aromatic, earthy, nothing. It tastes like tea bag. Um, it doesn't taste strong um, either, like super strong. Nothing, honestly. Um, I kind of want to chug this because... It doesn't taste good, but it doesn't taste bad either. Um, I just want to drink it and get it over with. So I'm going to do that as quickly as I can because it still has some heat in it. Oh. Hot. And then I'm going to start um, my work for today, start my scheduling. This week I'm posting on uh, the Flawless Finish page, so I would have to do my scheduling for that and my body before i even drink this i my body feels as though it's going to naturally flush so as it's imminent i hope that this really gets it out Mm-hmm. All finished, guys. So it is 8.23. I'll keep you ooh, abreast as to how it goes. So I'm going to start some work. And I'll be our boom. What's going on, big man? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good evening, all. I am here waiting on Babe to come back. He's just gone into Arrow Post to collect his Timu order. Hmm, I wonder who influenced him. And then we're going to go and collect Mom. Big pause there. <laughs> and then we're going to head over to Sheraton because um, Babe wants to get a scar. Mom needs to look for something for her hair for a Sunday Mother's Day, y'all. The shirt game is so old. Like, the whole see-through that is one and two. You got, like, the elastics coming out. To part from this shirt is something difficult. I had a shirt for eons. Anyways, did it went well. I finished up my work. Collision. I finished up my work, and then I was just watching a bit of excuse me um the channels television girl i can't talk and so today i had granola i had something sweet so i am um, finished with um my diet changed diet change mm -hmm. still eating as clean as possible 
for the most part i drank the second part of my tea i don't know if i mentioned that and like you guys you, you want instagram you guys are instagram i posted that i am trying out this tea and you guys are like making me think that you know i'm gonna flush out my insides um but i'm still waiting i used the washroom yes i did once like i said earlier this morning it was pretty eminent um like before i even drank the tea i knew how to use the washroom but if i had used my other formula to flush girl i would have done use the bathroom about three times already honestly speaking um so i am still waiting to see how this one works i don't know if i need to just do one tea bag to one cup of hot water but because i did one tea bag to two cups of water and yeah i am going to see how it works so it is back to his tea more order mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. what are you giving me it's not my packages. Packages. It's not my packages, yours. Ready? Good morning, flawless kings and queens. It's Saturday. And today is nothing but prep for me for tomorrow. Mother's Day! Ooh, I'm so fussy. Um, so yesterday I cut this road is gonna get real bumpy, so hold on. So yesterday I cut the hem, one of the layers of my dress, I would say, because the two size was too long. So honestly speaking, I was in a real don't care um, mindset. I was like, I don't care if it's too short, if I cut it too short. I really didn't want to cut it too short, but I I don't know if it cut too short or not. I'm thinking not, um, but either way, it's, it's cut, it's hemmed, and that dress has to earn. That dress will probably take me about 30 minutes to iron when you guys see it you guys will know you guys would have seen this dress already though and uh, i'm going to wear my petticoat my wedding my petticoat from uh, my wedding i'm going to wear that underneath this so it's going to make it bigger uh, i want to take this hair off and wash it i was going to want i was going to i'm wondering wait i was going to wonder i'm wondering if i should change this wig or not um, I'm not sure what I want to do with this hair as yet because it's it's time it's time for this hair to change um, but you'll see how that goes may or may not I don't know I, I don't know um, because I don't know what other wig I will put on then um, last night we went to Sheraton and got mom some nice accessories and um now I'm here to collect her BT dubs and we're gonna have some breakfast together this morning I look forward to that and um, because I very seldom see my mom like that you know don't really spend time with her and so what else is to be done today my nails is done my lashes are done they just want brushing for the most part they're not a little atrocious <laughs> but they just want brushing for the most part um my lashes are done my hair is pretty much done i just have to style it and i already know my accessories i already know my shoes i have to figure out what dress i'm wearing to church in the morning though because i'm not going to wear that dress to church uh but i think that we're going to come all the way home to go all the way back up there i don't know you know but to wear that dress and how i want to wear it to church I mean, all I have to do is put on a petticoat if I do want to change. Um, I don't know. I'll think on it. But, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'll decide. I'll discuss it with the three cousins. Babe, my, my mom, and myself are going to discuss it with them and see what they, oh, what they have to say. Uh, I literally just say you're hardly Beverly. Evelyn, sorry. 
Um, I just had a Harley vlog for the day, but today was just a lot of prep, a lot of prep. After we locked mom's hair, put her on the dryer, then I went ahead and washed my hair, the, the wig I should say. As you can see, I'm without the wig. So I have to go ahead and reinstall that. I, I don't know, I haven't taken time out to figure out if there's another wig I want to wear or which wig I all I want to wear outside of that one. But I don't know. Either ways, um, Babe did laundry, um, folded clothes, um, did most of the ironing. I wrapped up the ironing. And uh, yeah, it's at home. Mom afterwards, not too long ago, because it's only like almost 20 to um, 5 o'clock. And I um, have a client as well a bit later. So I'm gonna go home and shower and then um reinstall the hair and prep for my client. Maybe when I come out home we'll be able to style my hair. And that should be it for um today in terms of what I have to do. So we're on our way to collect a little gift for my mom-in-law. Um, a cute set of Mother's Day themed pastries for her. Because that's where we're going. We're gonna go to Babe's previous church um, to, yeah, tomorrow morning instead of our normal church. I was going to mm, collect them. I want to see what they look like. I see yellow icing. Oh, I'll show you guys when I get home. You want to hold them, baby? <laughs> All right, have a good evening. All right. Remember her? She should have asked me at the end. At the end, right there. So hair back on, you still have to style it. So you guys are gonna see all of that in uh, tomorrow's vlog, I guess. Or if not, on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. Heading over now to my client. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to stay awesome, subscribe, and stay safe. From Barbados to you guys. Night, guys. Don't forget to hit that circle button to subscribe to my channel and here are two more of my videos. See you soon.